The scorching heat caused quite a scare for drivers on I-44. The road buckled just west of Rolla, causing a few accidents. Lauren Schwenker talked to one driver who got airborne after hitting that obstacle. It sent us flying in the air, and then we came down and crashed like pretty hard on the ground. Hannah Hilton and her friends' lives flashed before their eyes Tuesday afternoon. When we were in the air, I'm not really sure how high we flew or anything, but it felt pretty high to us. While westbound on I-44 near Doolittle, their car hit what investigators call a major blow up in the road. We didn't really know what was happening until we hit the ground. And honestly, all of us thought the windows had shattered once it hit because all of the stuff flew. Doolittle firefighters and the highway patrol responded to the incident. Investigators say no one got seriously hurt. Both westbound lanes are now back open. But MoDOT crews only did a quick fix to get the traffic flowing again. We did a temporary repair last night. It's open to traffic now. We've got a contractor who's going to come in and do a more permanent repair uh, here in the middle of next week. MoDOT engineers say incidents like this are not uncommon during extreme heat. Their, their frequency does increase whenever the temperatures are elevated as they are today. Now, this isn't the first time this area of I-44 near Doolittle has experienced issues. Back in June of 2019, the hot temperatures also caused a crack in the road, this time going eastbound. It, it's one this year, one last year. We've got another segment of concrete within our 18 counties that similar has happened. As for Helton, she says she wishes there would have been a warning. I feel like they should have had signs up at least because I heard that it's happened multiple times over the years. And she urges other drivers to keep their eyes on the road. Be safe when you're traveling, especially on the highway, and be aware of your surroundings. MoDOT plans to have those permanent repairs done by the middle of next week. If you see signs the road is starting to buckle like that, call MoDOT right away and report it.